Hey everybody, good morning. This is Jason and another beautiful Indiana morning heading into work. I had a question I wanted to pose my uh, to my audience. You know, I came from a decent sized city growing up. It's uh, pretty much a suburb of Louisville, Kentucky. But I moved out here where you see now I'm in the countryside. I'm about 45 minutes from Indianapolis. Small town, as you can tell, it's country town. The town I live in, though it's surrounded by farming communities, it the town I live in not, has anything to really do that much with farming per se. I mean, of course there are people in the town who are farmers, but it's not a uh, farming town, I would, I would say. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I just don't... The people I know and the people I run with are not people I you know that have farms that are you know do that kind of you know agricultural type jobs but my question is is that you know I lived in cities that with more people than the state of Indiana I lived in um, Guangzhou China that one city I lived in had you know five six million people in that city I lived in Fukuoka which is the size of Chicago, if not bigger. And then, you know, I lived in the town I grew up in, Jeffersonville, which is like probably, I'm assuming, last time I checked, around 60,000 people in that town, city, whatever you want to call it. But now I live in a town up here in Indianapolis, which I think probably about 5,000 people, 6,000 max, I would say. So my question is for you guys who have lived in the, lived in major cities or big cities not necessarily major cities or live in small towns or they or vice versa you switch back and forth what has been your experience what do you have pros and have cons what do you like what do you don't like about either or or about both you know the one thing I like about the city is that everything's accessible you know restaurants shopping entertainment is all accessible in a decent sized city on top of that, there's a lot more cultural activities, cultural, you know, ethnic restaurants, which I love to, uh, to eat at, and ethnic stores where you can shop for groceries or just like, you know, goods. Um, those are the things I, I like having, you know, entertainment as far as like sporting events, uh, movie theaters, things of that sort, you know, going to the theater, uh, watching plays, stuff like that. I actually like that kind of thing, and I grew up with that. Uh, you know, it's a faster pace of life, generally speaking, as well. People care less for you, generally speaking. More people to worry about themselves than the, about their fellow man. Just kind of the nature of the beast. So those are the cons, I think, that you don't have as much community and as much support in those kind of places. Now, if you have family around and friends, obviously that helps tremendously. But a lot of times you don't uh, have that uh, around. Now, small towns, the upside is it is a small town feel, a community people actually care. Your kids, unless they're looking for trouble, a lot of times won't really find trouble too often uh, because it's not as readily available. Of course, it's always around, but it's not in the same level of, you know, accessibility. I worked in the school systems both in Louisville, Kentucky, and up here in southern, uh, northern uh, Indiana, north central Indiana, and I can tell you the big city schools have it at a much more rampant ability. Now, again, if you're looking for it, of course you can find it. So that aspect of it for your kids is much better. People care about your kids more here. All the, you know, the, the teachers, the, the staff, the parents of the kids your, your kid hangs out with, all that, that's a bonus. Um, Everybody kind of knows you. They check on you. They want to make sure you're doing okay, which there's pros and cons of that. But at the end of the day, I quite frankly think it's more of a pro than a con. And then at the end of the day, you feel safer. You feel like it's a more close-knit community. And that if you really needed something, you know, people would people would be uh, um, there to get your back if they could, which is a, a nice feeling to have. And so those are some of the things I think about it. Uh, definitely for me, growing up in a small, or not growing up, but living in a smaller town for my son is a is a perk, and I wouldn't change that for the world. Um, like I said, living in, in a town that had lots of people, lots of problems, teaching in those same school districts, as well as teaching up here, 
it's a night and day experience. So I, as a father, I'm more than happy to live up here. So I just thought I'd ask you all those questions. Kind of want to, you know, kind of do maybe this once every couple, you know, uh, days. Do a video kind of like this where I'm kind of just have a topic maybe and just discuss people what they think and just to have that conversation via the comments. So please leave your comment below. Lengthy comments are great. If you just have a quick comment, that's great also. Just to be able to have some dialogue is always a good time. So until next time, guys, TTFN. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>